record on this now okay. we are recording welcome shadon from the uk the session is Thank now you. recorded uh, welcome to the isles cafe this is our um third isles cafe or maybe the second cafe and by the way i've got a big surprise for them that uh, next week i'm hosting an american teacher to talk to them about Amazing. the american accent she's okay from New so they have the comparison yeah Amazing. so uh, okay. next week i'll be hosting an american teacher talking about the american accent and uh, because after all this course is not just ielts this course is to improve their english so that they mm -hmm. uh, they improve themselves welcome on board miss shadden talking with Thank us today uh, tonight about the main features of the british accent and now you have become the host thank you for being with us you're now the host great thank okay <laughs> thank you okay so hello everyone thank you for coming what we can do is um i will unmute someone and ask your name if i want you to speak so we don't have too much noise in the background okay brilliant thank you cool okay so let's get started so Pronunciation, we're going to look at British pronunciation today. And um, well, how much do you know about British pronunciation? Let's see, let's have a look. So um, how many dialects are there in the UK? So how many different areas, of different accents are there in the UK? Um, I'm going to ask uh, Namid. How many accents are there in the UK? Or oh, if you know the answer, feel free to unmute and contribute. How many dialects in the UK, what do you think? Islam? Islam Ahmed, how many dialects are there in the UK? Okay, so I'm going to let you know. Yeah, Islam? Well, I'm not sure about how many accents here. Maybe, maybe. Actually, what, what do you think? Well, let's say four. Okay, cool. Let's see someone else's answer. Thank you, Islam. Um, uh, who else? Mohammed Sayed. How many accents in the UK? What do you think? You? I don't know. No, me? How many? Um, do you hear me? Because I... Oh, yeah, okay. yeah. You not hear me. sure, but I think um, I know that there's only one. Really? Okay, so this would be a surprise for you then. So actually in the UK, there are more than 37 dialects. There are more than 37 different accents. Yeah. <laughs> Surprised, right? Okay. So, um, brilliant. So I am from here, just underneath so london is here central london is here i'm just underneath so my accent is like a, a, a southeastern accent that's slightly changed over the years so yeah there are more than 37 different accents okay what's the most common sound in the british accent any ideas anyone want to suggest unmute and just speak most common british sound any ideas i'll give you three seconds and i will tell you the answer Okay, so the most common sound in the British accent is schwa. So the uh sound. Okay, so the most common sound in our uh, British accent. Okay. What's the second most famous British accent? That would be called the Cockney accent. So this is old, um, an older accent that originated in East London. It's the most common accent that you will hear drop the T. So they might say butter, water, um, that's, that's an East London accent. So they drop the T's. Instead of saying butter, they say butter, water, water. That's an East London way, a dialect. And what's the traditional British accent called? It's called RP, Received Pronunciation, or the Queen's English. Very few people speak like the Queen's English now. That's like from BBC or when you watch the news that accent will be the Queen's English. Um, my accent 
has has changed over the years. I don't sound like the BBC at all. <laughs> okay, so we're going to have a look at um, some three main features of British pronunciation, and then some words at the end that might be uh, new to you the way we should pronounce it. So the first thing, schwa. You have to know this sound if you want to have the British accent. So, schwa. How do you make the sound? So your mouth looks like this, it's relaxed, open slightly, and it sounds, it looks like this, sounds like this, ah, uh, ah, uh, okay. So the schwa sounds are, come from weak vowels. We will have a look at why in a second. And we hear it in a syllable that's not stressed. For example, the word brother, brother. We have two syllables. The first syllable is stressed brother. The uh comes at the end in the unstressed syllable. So brother, that's the schwa sound, uh. Okay, we're going to practice some speaking. I want to hear you um, with the British accent. So I'm going to repeat these words and I would like you to listen first. So when we have a weak A vowel sound, it sounds like this. Away. Banana. Woman. Sugar, garden, paper, under, police, doctor, correct, support, figure, colour. Okay, I'm going to try something now. Could everybody unmute yourself? Is that possible or do I need to do it? Can I ask everyone to unmute your microphone? Mm -mm -mm. No, can I do that? Okay. okay. Okay, so I'm going to ask some people to unmute if you can. I'd like to hear some people speaking. So. Yeah, hello. Great, See? hello. I can hear some people. Brilliant. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. Um. So, to the people who have unmuted, I'm going to point to a word and I would like you to repeat uh, out loud or at home if you're on mute, okay? So, away, away. repeat it at away. home. Oh, brilliant, away. okay, great, thank you, away, away, away. away. good. Banana. 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 Ah, ah, banana. 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 Woman. 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 Sugar. 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 Listen. Listen. Look at the shape of my mouth. Ah, sugar. 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 Good. Garden. 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 Paper, 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 under, 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 Nice, good. Bigger. 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 Yeah, Color. nice. Okay, thank you <laughs> for those of you who participated. So Amazing. the sound is, is soft and you just drop your mouth. So figure, colour, etc. Okay. Um, let's practice together then. So having a look here, we have some words um, which have the schwa sound in them. If you have the answer, please speak. Feel free to speak. 
So, doctor. So the a uh is in the end. So the schwa, the a uh is in the end. Where is the schwa here? Listen. Tomorrow. Tomorrow. Where's the schwa? R O W. At the beginning. Good. Well done. Yeah. It's here. Ta. A. Morrow. Tomorrow. Ah, uh, the schwa sound. Tomorrow. Not, not tomorrow. 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 Yeah. Summer. 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 Where's the schwa? Last syllable. Yeah. In. 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 The end. In the end. We'll check in a second. Protect. Protect. Last syllable. Protect. Oh. Protect. Middle. Protect. In the middle. Yeah. It's in the middle. Protect. Protect. Good. Protect. People. Protect. Pupil. P. First level. First. Hall. The Hall. first. Pupil. Okay. Measure. 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 Where's the uh, sound? First and the uh, and last. The really? It's not in the middle. first. The middle. Okay. Let's have a look. Let's have a look. So. We have. We have. Doctor. Ah. Uh, tomorrow. Tomorrow. Summer. Ah, uh, yeah. Protect. Protect. Pupil. Oh, again, the R sound. And measure. Ah, uh, okay. So, what does that say? What does that say? What does that say? Protect. 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 Yeah, protect. 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 What's that? Summer. 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 Good. So this is the most common sound in the British accent, the schwa, a uh, sound. Okay. So when we have a vowel sound followed by a consonant, we have the a. Uh. Contraction is the next most common thing in British speech. What are contractions? So, heel, 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 teeth, teeth, eyes. So when we heel. contract the verb and the heel. subject, right? Yes. So, contractions are used a lot in spoken English. We, we speak quickly. He'll go, she'd have, he's like, etc. Okay. Uh, it can completely change the meaning of the sentence. Sometimes we don't hear it because it's weak. Not very strong sound, okay? okay. The context will help you to recognise which is being used. But it's good to practice recognising it within the sentence as the sound is not very clear. So... I'm going to read three sentences. I would like you to write what you hear from my accent. Okay, so I will read three sentences and I want everyone to write what you can hear. Okay. Then we will check if you heard the same thing. Number one, he'll go to the cinema if he's able to. Number two. Again, 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 please. Again. Okay, I'm, I'm only going to say it, it one more time. It's good practice. Okay, so sorry. Again, number one. He'll go to America if he's able to. Number two. She'd seen that film. And number three. They should have studied harder. Okay, let's have a look. What did you hear from the first sentence? So I said, he'll go to America if he's able to. Now he'll go to America if he's able to. He'll go, he'll go. Not very clear that I'm using the future. He'll go, he'll go. So very quick, he'll go. Number two, she'd seen, she'd seen. Again, the contraction is very weak. We can't hear it clearly. She'd seen. She's seen that film. And finally, they should have studied harder. In my accent, I say should have. Should have studied. Should have studied. The vert is very small. 
in East London, you will hear people say, should I, should I study? So you might hear something like that. They should have studied harder. They should have studied harder. Okay, so contractions, again, weak sound. Okay. The third thing that is the most common in British speech is linking. So sometimes students ask, how can I sound fluent? How can I speak like a native person? Linking. We speak fluently and quickly through linking sounds together. For example, vow to vow. Example here. I will go out tomorrow if the weather is good. Yeah, exactly. What, what, what sound is inside? Go out. Go out. Yeah. What, wow. what yeah, yeah, good, exactly. We have a west sound. It sounds like go out, go out. Go out. Wow. How about this sentence? Are you always studying the exam? Yeah. You always study the exam. I always study the exam. Yes, yes. Fantastic, good. Yeah, we have a yes. Sound. Yes, sound. I always. Exactly. Well done. Yeah. Are you always? Are you always? Okay. Ooh. So between vowel sounds, depending on the previous sound, we add a w or a y, a consonant sound. Go out to make it easier to say. I will go out tomorrow if the weather's good. I always study for the exam. Okay. So let's practice. Let's, let's practice and okay. Let's practice together. What do you think is the sound in between? So I ate out. I know it. 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 I Wasn't Go on. Go on. Go on. Go on. They agree. 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 Know it. I 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 know it. May I come in? May I come in? May I come in? Come in. Come in. Come in. Come in. May I come in? May I come in? Come in. So awesome. So awesome. So awesome. So I buy. I'll buy. i 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 buy. All right, I'm going to read a word and then I will read the word in a sentence. I want you to write down what you can hear from my speaking, okay? So, soup back. She put the soup back in the pan. Okay, have a look. Soup back. 
soup back. Soup back. Mm-hmm. But she when the consonants pack in the paint. Yeah. yeah. But when the consonants are together, this word sounds different. It doesn't sound like soup. Soup back. Soup back. It doesn't sound like soup. It's hard to recognize the correct word. When we have consonant to consonant together, the first word changes the sound, you know? So, have a look here. I will read the, the word and you tell me what does it sound like? For example, I've got a bad cold. Bad cold. Bad cold. Bad cold. Bad what word? Cold. This doesn't bad sound cold. Cold. like bad cold. Bad cold. I've got a bad cold. It sounds like I've one got of a these cold. words. Bad oh. cold. cold. E. The sound? Bad e. cold. E. 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 The sound e. is like bag. Back home. 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 So, um, exactly. So, bad cold sounds like bag, bad cold, bag. Bad year, bad year. Bad year. Bad year. What does it sound like? Bad year. J. Bad. Exactly. Exactly. Sounds like bad, but it's not bad. It says bad. Bad year. Bad year. Yeah, exactly. Nice. Shop. Good. Cool. Okay. Next one. Shop cat. Shop cat. Shop cat. Shop. What does it sound like? Shop. Doesn't it sound like shop? shop. Yeah, cool. Shop. It sounds like shock. Exactly. Shop. Shop cat. Sounds like shock. What's your son called? Son called. 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 With speaking, it will come naturally, but it's good to notice for listening. Okay. Final one. Consonant to vowel. This makes your speech more fluent. I am going to read a sentence. Again, write it if you like, or just listen and see if it is what you heard. So, the sentence is, I used to believe in going on diets, but not anymore. I used to believe in going on diets, but not anymore. I used to believe it to go on diet, but not anymore. I yeah, guess. Yeah, nice. Yeah, nice. Good. I used to believe in going on diets, but not yeah, anymore. Yes, I, I used to believe in. Believe what do you notice? Anymore. What do you notice about these words in color? Mm-hmm. What do you believe notice? In. Believe in going on. Believe in going on. What happens? You link it three words together? Yeah, yeah, nice. So it sounds more like this. You yes. to believe in going on. No. Not anymore. Watch out. So they're linking. Yes. The linking um, makes our speech more fluent. So I used to believe in going on diets, but not anymore. I you can practice reading this sentence if you like. Yes. I used to believe in going on diets, but not any. 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 Um, let's have a look then. I have these words are the sound. What is Hold the on. actual word? Wow. Hold on. Hold on. Can you hold on? Depends. Hold on. Hold on a moment, please. 
But the sound, hold on, hold on, hold on. Can you hold on a moment? Yeah. Number two. Hold on. Bend on. Hold on. Bend on. I'm scared of the bend on. The bend on. Depend. 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 I'm scared of the depend. Yeah. Which can be the depend? Um, I don't know what what's your um. My sound is clear. I'm I'm sure my sound is clear. Okay. So number three, get the plate. On get Sundays, I always yeah nice no, yeah exactly. Get up late. Get, get up late. Get up late. late. Yeah. Get up late. Get up late. Yes. Get up late. 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 Exactly. So the speech is, is linked. Get up late. Okay. Get up late. And number four, picked out. I picked out. Picked out. Picked out. What does that say? Picked out. Picked out. Yeah, picked good. Do it. Picked out. Picked, picked out. out. Good. Okay, so we had to look at these three main speeches. We had to look at schwa, contractions, and fluent speech. Let's put it all together. Um, but before we do that, have a look at these words. So I have some words here. Um, who can tell me what does that say? What? What does that say? Advertisement. 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 One second. Listen, listen, listen. Listen. Advertisement. 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 That's the British pronunciation. Advertisement. 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 How about number two? What does number two say? Either. 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 Exactly. Yeah. Either. British either. 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 Number Ketchup. three, schedule is um, is American. Schedule is the American Schedule. pronunciation. Schedule is the British. However, um, now just... times are changing. I say schedule, so I must be influenced by Americans somewhere. <laughs> I say schedule, but British schedule. Schedule. Okay. Schedule. Schedule. Number four. Economic. 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 Exactly. Economic. Economic. Okay. So, uh, one second. Sorry. Uh, Mohammed. <coughs> Dr. Mohammed. Um, if, if I don't know why. Water. Uh, what? Uh, Shaden, I'm sorry about this. Can you please just mute everybody because it's going to be a mess now. So, <laughs> please mute everybody because it seems that people are bringing their kids and is this is not professional at all. I'm really sorry. This is very unprofessional. Please mute everyone because many are sending me messages complaining that bringing kids during a session, please mute everybody. I'm sorry, guys. Uh, 
Hello, everybody. How are you doing? Now, can you hear me? Shaden, can you hear me? Yeah. Okay. Can you please mute everybody? Because they seems have to been me, muted. Yeah, because it seems I to me that them. many are bringing their kids. And once again, we should be responsible enough that we know that this is a pronunciation class and we should not bring children during the session or have side talks with whoever is next to you because we have someone for one hour only and Miss Shadden is coming to us to help us. But I'm sorry about this. Let's make it with no interaction. Please, you sure. talk, talk and they repeat recording themselves and that's it. That would be yeah, much, much that's better. Fine. Thank you. Sure. And can you please just can you please just tell us about the main features once again? Because I've received messages that nobody understood anything from the beginning. I'm sorry about this. But because people were speaking, children were That's talking, fine. husbands talking. I'm sorry, but this is not what I expected from us as grown-ups. Guys, please. Thank you. Shadim, please, I'm sorry. I think we need to go through the whole thing from the beginning without opening sure. the mics. I'm sorry. Don't sure. open the mics for everyone. Thank sure. you. Okay. Sure. So sorry for those who couldn't hear exactly. I thought it would be nice to have some interaction and some practice. Yeah, I know. But interaction with again, children, with children is not acceptable. Children Absolutely. in the background. I'm sorry about this, Shadin. Thank you for your efforts. That's fine. Okay. So that's fine. So let's have a look then. I will briefly go through the beginning as I, I know where I started to unmute. <laughs> so British pronunciation, I'm from the Southeast down here. These are the main features or some facts, sorry, about British pronunciation. More than 37 dialects, 37. There you go, that was an East London dialect slip. More than 37 uh, accent dialects. Schwa sound, uh, is the most common sound in the UK. Cockney accent originated in East London. If you go on YouTube to watch old um, TV series, you'll often hear the Cockney accent. And it's quite difficult to understand because they drop a lot of letters, sounds, um, and traditional British accent, which you hear on BBC, English, stuff like that, is the Queen's English. So, uh, the first most common feature of the British accent is a schwa, schwa sound. Um, sounds like uh, looks like this. If you're reading the phonetic chart, looks like this. That's the symbol. Mouth is relaxed and open slightly. Uh. Schwa sounds are actually weak vowel sounds. And we hear it in unstressed syllables. So, for example, the word brother has two syllables. Yeah, brother. The first syllable is stressed because we say brother, not brother, we say brother. So the second syllable has the schwa, uh, because it's not stressed. Okay, so I will read these for you to listen to the use of the schwa a little bit. Away, banana, woman, sugar, garden, paper, under, police, listen, not police, police. Doctor, correct, support, figure, color. Okay, so uh, some, some of the sure sound. As we looked at in these words here, doctor, the schwa is at the end. Tomorrow, tomorrow, schwa is in the beginning. Summer, summer, protect, people, measure. So you, you will notice the schwa more when you, when you listen to different things, but to be aware of it may help you understand uh, native speakers when they're speaking quickly. And it sounds like the letters have been dropped, but actually it's just a schwa sound. Whereas American have a kind of stronger stress on all the sounds. The second very common feature in British speech is contraction. So example, contraction of a subject with a verb. Contractions are used almost all the time in spoken English. I rarely say he will go, or he'll go. She had been, she'd been. I very rarely use the non-contracted form when I'm speaking. They can completely change the meaning of a sentence, as you know. Future, perfect, 
completely changes the meaning. And then weak forms. Contracted forms are always weak, and so they're hard to recognise. Sometimes you're not sure if the person is talking in the future or, or the past. Or... Context will help you recognise the contraction, even when you don't hear it clearly. Okay, example, you can listen to me uh, read. He'll go to America if he's able to. He'll go, he'll go. She'd seen that film, she'd seen, she'd seen. They should have studied harder, they should have studied harder. Should have studied, should have studied. Okay, the third feature would be linking. So, about a vowel linking is one type that we have. Example, I will go out tomorrow. We have a vowel sound and a vowel sound. In the middle goes a consonant sound to help us pronounce it. It's difficult to say go out. So to make it smoother and more fluent, go out. Same here, I always. I always study for the exam. I always, we have a yes sound. Okay, let's practice as we have done. Um, I ate out, I ate out. Go on, they agree, I know it. May I come in? So awesome, I'll buy it, he ate out. So again, um, to make your speech more fluent or to recognize fluent speech, it's acknowledging that sounds sometimes go in between others. And thirdly, a common uh, linking is consonant sound to a different consonant sound. Example here, we have two words, soup and back. When I say them together, soup back, the sound of the first word doesn't sound like soup, it changes. So listen to the sentence. She put the soup back in the pan. She put the soup back in the pan. Because we have two different consonants and together, the first word changes. Example here. I've got a bad cold, bad cold. Doesn't sound like bad, but it's good to recognize the overall sound and not focus on individual words sometimes. Bad cold, bad year, sounds like badge, bad year. Shop bears, shop, shop bears. Shop cats, shop, shop cats. What's your son called? What's your son called? Son. My son made this. My son made this, so we almost don't say that n. Nah. We go straight to son made this. My son made this. So when there's two consonant sounds that are different next to each other, the first sound changes. Okay. Oh, and finally, consonant to vowel sound. So um, here, for example, I used to believe in going on diets, but not anymore. I used to believe in going on diets, but not anymore, not any. So the not any joins together. Going on, going on, believe in, believe in. So when we have consonant and vowel together, they stick. Okay, so we had a look at these three main features. Schwa, a weak vowel sound, a uh, contraction, and features of fluent speech, like consonant to consonant, consonant to vowel, and vowel to vowel. Here are some common words that are pronounced diff differently in the American and British accent, um, and sometimes pronounced differently within the UK. First one, advertisement, advertisement. The stress is in the beginning, advertisement. Advertisement, sorry, the stress is here on the V. Advertisement, advertisement. The first syllable is weak. Advertisement, advertisement. Either, we hear both either or either. Either is more British. And again, what do we have here? Schwa, either, either. The uh, British pronunciation here would be schedule. Economic, water, or water, but water is very bad pronunciation, so I don't say that, okay? But you might hear it. Adult, 
not adult, the stress is on the A, adult, Americans dress somewhere different, British dress on the A, adult, brochure, again we have a, schwa, vaccine, this is a confusing word so I just wanted to highlight that, vaccine, this one, everybody, this is my, um, <laughs> my favourite one, can't, it's a long vowel sound, ah, so can't, American say it with a short vowel sound, British can't, and it's much clearer when you're speaking if you mean the positive or negative when you use the British R long vowel sound, can't. And here, issue, issue or issue, I'm pretty sure British is issue, so it's a sh sound here. Okay. So I have one final reading for you, which has all the features inside that we've looked at today. I'm going to read it for you just to get an ear for um, using the, these three features that we looked at today in natural speech. Perhaps you can record yourself reading this and listen to it back and then listen to me, see if it sounds the same or similar even. So I've been practicing the British accent for a while now. At first, it was kind of hard to keep track of all the rules and exceptions. I had no idea. Now it's easier to pronounce some of the sounds, but it's difficult to know how, to, how I sound to others. But I think I'm getting better. I sound more and more like a native speaker. My clients aren't asking me to repeat myself as much. Makes it all worthwhile. I won't stop practicing. So I hope that was a little um, brief, but. Um, Full of content summary of the British accent and um, if you can watch back the recording if that's available I'm sure that would be beneficial but thank you very much um, everyone sorry for the drama in the beginning and uh, hope to see you again soon I'll make you the host uh, Mohammed. hello once again so uh, Kenny, thank you very much, Shaden. Now we'd like to move on to the questions and answers. Okay, is it brochure? Because the word brochure is originally French word. In the mm -hmm. in, in the French, we say brochure. Okay, mm -hmm. and you know quite well that in the British accent we say brochure, brochure, right? Unless you speak the Queen's English you might say brochure because you're brochure. eloquent yeah. and you're influenced by the French. Yeah, because yes, if you want to sound eloquent, uh, like the British or the Queen, sometimes the Queen sounds like the French in words mm -hmm. that are originally French. Right. Like so BBC says, English. Would say so sometimes I hear the Queen on the BBC saying, I feel safe when I have the mask on with the chauffeur with me. Mm -hmm. So instead of saying driver, exactly, she I says would say chauffeur. Chauffeur, yeah. Sometimes she say chauffeur, although she should mm. say in English chauffeur, because these okay. words are originally French. I don't know. Do you know that historically speaking, there are ten thousand words in English that are originally French? I'm not surprised. So, yeah. There's so many because, as you mm. know, in the history of the UK, the Norman French invaded mm. the UK <laughs> in 1066, historically. Brilliant. And that's why we have some important expressions like c'est la vie, you know. Yeah. Sometimes mm -hmm. you say these, you use these expressions, don't you? C'est la vie, yeah, we do sometimes, yes. Yeah. Okay, can uh, you say that yeah. word again? Vaccine. Is it vaccine? Brochure. Can you just vaccine. show us the list once again? Because some of our mm -hmm. colleagues were asking the, the pronunciation of some words. Category. Sure, sorry, can, Category. Sure, can you, um, uh, you want me to share my screen again? Okay, so I'll make... Sorry, I made you host. Uh, you are the host now. You are the host now. So let's go together once again through this slide this slide yes the bonus slide you said the word because we usually hear this word a lot in the listening of aisles okay advertisement although uh we usually hear it as advertisement mm. 
Americans say either, though the Brits say either. Yeah. Sometimes well, you guys. Sometimes we, we mix between two. It depends what you've been influenced by. Yeah, that's something quite interesting. I know quite well mm -hmm. that the Brits have been influenced by Hollywood and the Americans. And that's why I call the soft power, the soft power, of course, mm -hmm. you know, this political expression. Mm -hmm. how movies and celebrities have an impact even on the native speakers in the UK. So you yeah, can absolutely. find mm, so you can find a Brits saying either instead of either. Yeah, but they still would put a short at the end. They would not either. pronounce the R. Yeah. They would not say R, so they would say either. So it's a kind yeah. of a mix of both British and American. So they won't say right either american and they will not say exactly. either they say yeah, either, no, right, either. <laughs> yeah. i know that's funny something mm -hmm. else i know that the word schedule has become so obsolete yeah i've Old never fashion. said schedule ever in my life to be honest i just know from the book that it's schedule but actually so, i say schedule you've never american. ever heard a native speaker saying schedule I probably have, but I didn't register because in my mind, I say schedule. So I interpreted the sound how I wanted to interpret it. Okay, because mm -hmm. these poor guys had it in the IELTS exam. In the IELTS exam, they heard it once schedule. Mm -hmm. Because, you know, Cambridge is keen on preserving the British accent. Mm -hmm. Economics. Yeah. Economics. Yeah, is it issue or issue? Issue. What about issue? <laughs> Is that old or American? I'm not sure. Yeah, that's kind of very formal, old fashioned British. Yeah. And okay. they had it issue. once. Yeah. I was, I was right. listening. Mm -hmm. uh, sometimes they say adult and adult. Both are fine, right? Yeah, but I suppose, again, it's that uh, adult, yes, the way I say it, is the more informal adult. The stress on the D is the formal, the so, risk, the queen English. In order to get, in order to get band eight or eight point five in IELTS speaking, you should mm -hmm. use something called connected speech and assimilation. Mm -hmm. In order to get eight point five speaking, you should connect words. So, would you please read the last slide as a native speaker because eight point five speaking means you're almost a near native or a native speaker can you right. please just scroll down <laughs> to the last this slide one? once again yeah i've been practicing the british accent for a while now you see i've been i've been i've been you never say i have been practicing the british accent for a while you never say you never kind of dissect the words you should connect 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 that's band 8.5 speaking I've been practicing the British accent. You see, the, 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 the. So this is something quite yeah. important. Mm -hmm. Last session, last week, we had a session, a gift session from our speaking supervisor. And she mm -hmm. told the guys, it's very, very important to uh, connect the weak forms of words, the weak mm -hmm. form, the, a, an. When we have the, a, an, they are contracted. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because that, we have a the. Uh, yeah, I've been practicing the we don't the say British. the practicing the British accent. The British accent. The That's British. very good. That's very important British because accent. when I tell mm -hmm. you what's your name, you say my name is. You never say my name is. Mm. My, my name, name is. is. My name, my name is. is. Yeah, mm -hmm. can you say it? Sorry. <laughs> you put me on the spot. My name is. My name yeah. is Sadden. My, my, name, my is name is my name is yeah mm -hmm. i've been working i've been working so they've got to practice this style of connecting words if they want to improve their speaking connecting mm -hmm. words together i've been mm -hmm. i don't know about anything however however you said i don't know anything about that i've been practicing the 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 the, the. we never say i have been practicing the okay. british act no by the way, there is a joke. I always tell them a joke. You never okay. introduce yourself and you say, I am Muhammad. You never say, I am. You say, I'm, yeah. I'm Shaden. I'm a teacher. Yeah. 
Yeah. You true. only say I am if you're a James Bond. Do you know James Bond? <laughs> I am Bond. James mm. Bond. So if, or if you're, you're saying, emphasizing, if you're emphasizing something, if you're like, I, you know what, I am really happy, like something like that, then you're going to emphasize yourself, then you would use it. But. يا جماعة ركزتوا في الجملة دي اللي سبيكنج الطبيعي بتاعه بنلخص وبتأثر وتلم الدنيا لما أنت بتدي كل كلمة حقها كأنك أنت بتأكد على المعلومة فأنت لما بتقول I am a teacher كأنك أنت بتأكد على فكرة أنا مدرس لكن الطبيعي بتاعك تتكلم ازاي؟ الطبيعي بتاعك انت تقول I'm a teacher I'm a teacher I'm a teacher You say I've been working It was a kind of kind of هم من اخوة ناموا ولا حصل لهم ايه؟ هلو الاساتذة اللي معانا Are you there? Yeah carry on Sorry about that Yeah because عشان كان بس في There are mothers امهات انا كنت سامحهم بياكلوا العيال وكده فكنت عايز اطمن بس. Anyway, so once again, uh, yeah, excellent job, good. So guys, I'm 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 hungry and I'm thinking about I'm traveling. Well, okay, Chadin, can you tell us something in speaking? I tell them whenever you are stuck with ideas, you don't have ideas. I can say, you know, I'm not sure. So if mm. I ask you any tough question as a native speaker, mm. do you speak fast in the beginning? Say, well, I don't have an idea about this, <laughs> but let me think. Do you speak like that? <laughs> you sound crazy, don't you? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. So you never speak fast. Fluency, الطلاقة, الطلاقة مش معناها أنا طلقة. عشان في ناس يقول لك الطلاقة معناها طلقة. الطلاقة مع ان انا طلقة في الكلام لا 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 انت كده بتسمع مش ناتشرال say fluency does not mean speed right fluency exactly. means okay so Chadden, yeah mm. can i give you now a very tough speaking question i don't know go on then okay. uh Shadin, do you think robots can replace human beings one day um well i think perhaps perhaps they could at, at one point in the future but i don't really favor that idea um <laughs> okay and uh, do you think robots can make good teachers do you think robots can be good teachers uh i'd like to hope not because then i wouldn't have a job left and i like my job <laughs> so i wouldn't want to hand it over to technology completely zoom is enough how can we encourage children to read? Uh, we, we could encourage children to read by um, perhaps providing more interesting material that, um, and more interactive ways of uh, being able to read it, like on, on a, I don't know, audio book or on an iPad, something like that. Can you please recall... Can you please recall a situation when someone lied to you or cheated you? I can recall many situations when uh, I've been cheated. Would you like me? Would you like examples? Yeah. So can you tell us a situation when someone cheated you or lied to you? Well, being a foreign person in Egypt, I get um, cheated often with the cost that I pay for things. So um, that would be one, perhaps at like a fruit market, something like that. Um, yeah, it's hard to think of uh, too many examples on the spot, but I don't mind <laughs> part of the experience, isn't it? Okay, so once again, I can see that whenever you don't have ideas, whenever you run out of ideas, you say, um, can, you can you repeat that once again? Um, um <laughs> yeah so when you're stuck say, do you, yeah um, perhaps, mm, perhaps perhaps um, uh, actually well yeah well i, I yeah I, I think it could be like adding extra words to make me sound like i'm speaking and i'm not speaking actually any information i'm stalling these are called fillers we call this in english fillers you are mm -hmm. filling the gaps 
by saying I'm not sure, but me, let me think. Yeah, you know. So this that does that sound natural to you? Yeah. Yes. Okay. What if I say, uh, uh, you know, uh, and I uh, think that uh, does that sound natural <laughs> to you? Not too much. No, it sounds like you're about to say Yani or something like that. Ah, <laughs> thank you. So this is very much like Yani. Mm. Okay. Um, so I need to ask you, Shadin, mm -hmm. since you are from the British Council, since you are from the British Council, mm -hmm. when you had conversation classes with the students and all the IELTS and or everything, do you mind, do you think Cambridge would accept a word like Ya'ani, Shukran, Inshallah and all that, or they um, want English? They absolutely want English. I think inshallah would mean nothing to someone sitting in Cambridge. <laughs> Thank you. That's very good. Number two. So if I don't, if I ask you a question and you don't have ideas, can you honestly say, I'm not an expert in this field, but as far as I know, can you say that? Absolutely. As far as I'm aware, I'm, I'm not sure, but that's an interesting point. Um, that's that's given me something to think about, etc. You can respond in a in a way of interest without responding with nothing. Okay. Can you please once again read this part? I'm sorry. Let's put it all together once again. Sure. The whole um, piece, yeah. Yeah. I've been sure. practicing. Okay. I've been practicing the British accent for a while now. At first, it was kind of hard to keep track of all the rules and exceptions. I had no idea. Now it's easier to pronounce some of the sounds, but it's difficult to know how I sound to others. But I think I'm getting better. I sound more and more like a native speaker. My clients aren't asking me to repeat myself as much. It makes it all worthwhile. I won't stop practicing. The end. <laughs> I sound more and more more n n n n we never say and more and more more and n n n n so we never say more more and more like a like a like a native like a okay like a native speaker now it's 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 easier to pronounce some mm -hmm. of some of mm -hmm. Okay, I'm oh, going to make yeah. myself a cup of tea. Cup of, cup of tea. Do you say mm -hmm. a cup of tea or cup of... Mm? Even cup of tea. Cup of tea. Yeah, I need a cup of tea. <laughs> the of has gone completely, really. Cup of tea. Cup of tea. Yeah, that's really <laughs> good. Cup of tea. Cup of tea. Yeah, very good. Thank you, Mustafa. Yeah, it's a kind of a cup of tea. Yeah. So once again, do we say I can do it or I can, I can or I can, I can do it. Depends what you're expressing. If you're telling someone that you are able, I, I can do it. I can. You're convincing someone I can do it. Let me do it. I can. Or if you're just talking about ability, I can do it. Simple as. Depends if you want to express. So emphasis, بأكد, بأكد yeah. تقول, I can do it. However, if you yes, of course, I can do it. I can, mm -hmm. I can, I can. Would you, would you please? Mm -hmm. Would you please or would you please? Just, would you? Just. Mm, just. So the would and yeah, good and yeah, just. And then you goes to shot, ah, would you? Would you? Would yeah, you would you help me? Would you please, would you please? look at this? Okay, that's really good. So, can you please give us some tips before we wind up the session? We want you please to give us some general tips for people who want to improve their conversation and speaking skills. Listening to all kinds of British dialects, especially for IELTS, I think it's important to be listening to all kinds of accents. Um, if you type on Google um, accents map, 
you can find maps that you can click play on different areas of the map and they read the uh, accent back to you so if you type accents map on google you'll have some options like that um listening to as much different kind of old or british sitcoms british um uh videos on on youtube i could perhaps write a list and send them to you you could post in the whatsapp group um of some things you could watch on youtube listening is the way to to be more confident and be able to understand people without listening for every word because that's not how you understand listening you understand listening from your, your mind recognizing a selection of sounds together and associating that with with words so um listening to as many different accents as you can from from music from uh soap that, that that's where natural production of language comes from okay can i share with you one of my secrets one of one of i would like to share with you one of my secrets yeah that i learned the british accent not only from the school but from the Beatles, because oh. I used to listen to the Beatles. With, of course, the Beatles is a British band. Mm -hmm. And the Beatles as a British band, the Beatles, B-E-A, yeah, B-E-A. They are very famous for the British accent, especially mm -hmm. the accent from Liverpool. Yeah. And after memorizing their songs, I caught, I caught the British accent once again. So the Beatles would, uh, can I share something? Can you make me the host? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's rock and roll after all. Yeah, yeah, I'm rock and roll. By the way, uh, Shadon, I'm really sorry that I'm taking a lot of your time. No, you're fine. Uh, we're so honored to have you with us, really, we, yeah. you know, such an honor to Thank have a very good me. old friend. Thank you. <laughs> uh, yeah. So, for example, if I say, uh, yeah, when you repeat the songs, you catch the accent. So, mm -hmm. for example, if you listen to something like this, for example, I don't know if you can hear this or not, but something like the Beatles yesterday, yesterday, and with the lyrics, with the lyrics, so you you find yesterday all my all my all my all my troubles mm. seem so far away. So the beautiful things that when you listen to the British accent with the Beatles and you repeat after them, you are actually catching the accent with the connected speech, and you are practicing listening and speaking at the same time. You see, suddenly I'm not half the man, half, not half half mm. so you're getting the british accent i'm not half the man i used to be i used to be uh yesterday so for example mm. many arabs would say yesterday but when you listen mm. to something like this you'll say yesterday 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 okay do you know this song i'm not sure i think you need to play it for me to be to remind you but i can't hear it in today or yeah yeah but yeah, uh, I, if I heard it, I think I might recognize I believe it. in, I believe. You see, I believe, I believe, not I believe in. So how you assimilate, this is band 8.5, by the way. We're talking about 8, 8.5 in speaking and listening. So, yeah, so all I kinds think... of British bands from the 80s. Same with Queen, all kinds of British bands from the 80s, um, 70s. Yes. Uh, yeah. Yes, I just want to tell you that the Beatles has been selected as the best musicians. They are the best musicians in teaching the British accent. Mm -hmm. This was a study done by the U.S. Embassy, the American Embassy in Cairo, conducted a study of how to teach the British accent through the Beatles mm -hmm. and how their songs help students mm -hmm. to catch the accent. Yeah. That's because brilliant. they when they sing they speak slowly they don't speak quickly so i can mm -hmm. repeat after them right okay yeah 
yeah so once again Shadon, thank you very much for having you uh for thank having you. you with us thank you for being with us through thank this you. long <laughs> evening i know we've been taking no, no, a lot no, of time no, no. you've been Fine. with us been for fun. an hour and a half now that's great no thank you for having me so enjoy before you go i'd like to open yeah. have you got a session now have you got a class no. so no, no. We'd like to have this questions, open questions and answers. If anybody has got a question, please shoot, give okay. us your questions. If anybody has got a question, Renard, Mu'min, Muhammad Ibrahim, Ahmed Rifai, Hadir Gamel, please Ulunna. Matinsusha Gama, Lazim, Legal Britannia, Fil Akhir, Harful Arwaya. Far, farm, far, farm. Yes. حد عنده أي أسئلة يا جماعة؟ آه أوكي okay. مصطفى حسن is talking about can't and can. Mm. Yeah, can I, I, I can or I can. I can't. Yeah, not because Americans say I can't. I can't do that, whatever. But British people say can't. I can't do that. Even the shape of my mouth is different. Can't. Can't. I can. I can um I can ride a bike. I can't ride a bike. I can ride a bike. I'm telling you, I can. That's when you change the pronunciation. You, they okay. said that, yeah. That, so yeah. this Go means ahead. this means. Hold on, guys. Hold on. This means that I can. American and British, they say I can. Can. However, mm -hmm. yes. However, they are different in the pronunciation of car. Can't, mm -hmm. can't, dance, and the Americans say can't dance. Yeah. <laughs> Can I use the American accent? Yes. Yes, of course. Yes, of course, you can use the American accent in the speaking exam, no problem. Uh, schwa means not stressing. Yes, schwa means you are eating the words. Yeah, can't, yes. Uh, yes, thank you, Ahmed Rifai. Had uh, to cons to consonant to consonant. Can you do that consonant to consonant? You mentioned linking. Yeah. So there's consonant to same consonant. Mm. Uh, the first word changes the sound, um, but consonant to uh, the same consonant, the consonant to different consonant, the first word changes the sound. But consonant to the same consonant will be stressed further. So class size, class size, the S becomes stronger. So it depends if the consonants are different or the same, what happens? Okay. Pupil or people? Is there a difference between pupil and people? Massive difference. Look at the shape of your mouth when you're speaking in the mirror. Pupil, pupil, people, people, people. Yeah. And pu pupil people yeah and okay when do the british pronounce the r sound obviously in the beginning in the middle of in the uh very we don't uh Can't. i don't know if we and ever... at the very end at the, at the beginning and at the very end when it's followed by a vowel for example the car of you never mm -hmm. say car of the car of uh, John. This is the car of. So you pronounce the R yeah. at the end because there is a vowel. Around it, yeah. Yeah, so, so you have to the pronounce the R. Also, guys, when the R is in the middle and the R is in the middle, 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 حرف الار بتتنطق في الاخر لو بعديها حرف متحرك عشان اصلا حرف الار لما بيقع بيحصل ايه حرف الار لما بيقع بيتنطق ازاي اه ما ينفعش اقول كا وفي الاخر احط بعديه فاول اي كانت سي كا اوف كا اوف نو فلازم احط ار في النص اقول كا اوف ذا كا اوف احمد uh, مثلا I'll see you later I see you later in I'll see you later in. Later in. Later in. Later in. Later in. Mm -hmm. Support. Yeah. 
في أسئلة هنا دي واحدة later on yeah I'll see you later on we never say yeah. later on yeah. later, later on yeah later, later on. on you say you say mm. later on uh, very good thank you yeah someone asked something about uh, yeah do all are all the British people familiar with the 37 accents in the in the UK no I researched it and I was surprised <laughs> but I I was interested to know but we are like I mean we're uh, we're not aware of the number how many there are but we are aware of what areas how each area sounds because um yeah south west east north sound very different so um and and it's sometimes it's difficult to understand different accents even from the same country do you have the same in in any country i think okay i just want to tell you uh, a sad story I want to tell you a sad story from IELTS listening exams. In the IELTS yes. listening exams, they had the accent of Liverpool. In Cambridge 15, by saying supermarket, some customers from the supermarket, they come here, come. And that was shocking. I was a really good in the exam. Of course, I was in the exam and the students around me were crying because they couldn't believe that someone is saying come come to me and they don't know that this is northern england Hello. Mm. once yeah. again yeah absolutely mm. thank you yes of course amani is saying what matters is that your pronunciation is understandable thank mm. you abdul kareem al ghunami our guest thank you abdul kareem I think the most important thing, yes, is the meaning, not just the accent. Of course, Ahmed Rifai. Thank you very much indeed. Uh, Muhammad is Sayyid. Okay, Iman. Okay. So, have you got any more questions before we wind up the session? Wind up the session before we go. Yeah. What about the letter T? Do you sometimes say later? I'll see you if later. I say if I say later, my dad will tell me don't talk like that. Say later. So it's very important. If you, it, it's um a social idea that if you drop okay. the T, it's not polite. Absolutely. Okay. Uh, Shadon, I'm gonna explain it to them in Egyptian English. Okay, in Egyptian mm -hmm. Arabic. Okay. <laughs> yeah, Try to okay. catch it. <laughs> Try to catch this. Okay. T لما بيوقع في اللهجة البريطانية. بيبقى صوتك حد بيئة موت بالنسبة لهم هم يعني لما حد يجي يقول لحد مثلا ايه وقة او لما حد يقول لحد وق وق دي بالظبط عاملة زي في اللهجة المصرية زي ايه مثلا انت بتك... ولد... والدك بيقول لك ايه والدك بيقول لك روح هات لي كوباية شاي تقول له ها ها كده ها بنفس الوش بنفس الحركة فتلاقي باباك بيعمل ايه؟ باباك سبحان الله ربنا بيديله مع الابوه قدره ان هو يمسك الشبشب وبدرجه مئويه يديه في وشه. اه بابا يا عم انت نفس الطريقه تعشب شاي معان نفس الطريقه دي بنفس الزاويه هم بيعتبروا يعني هي بتقول ايه؟ لو انا قلت لابويا كلمه و هيقول لي مش يا من هنا. Yeah. I'm sorry Shan. I know I know Shadin that you understand Arabic and I've been فاهم عربي. But once again, I know that you understand Arabic. But what I'm saying is that uh, if I say something like, uh, uh, أنا حاجة أجيبك بالمكنة أوكي يا حمادة أجيبك من المكنة، المكنة دي اللي هي متسكة، ف you cannot say this هنا في القاهرة قلت لك أجيبك من المكنة يا ابني يا حبيبي مش هنفهم كده. مرة تانية once again I'm telling you guys في لهجات وفي لهجة تحس إن هي لا دي شعبي. الغريبة إن كامبريدج ما بترحمش يعني كامبريدج doesn't have mercy on the students. Sometimes they get this accent even in the exam and sometimes you hear something like Okay, the supermarket. Important. Mm. Important. 
Okay. Mm. Amani Tantawi is asking about the UK itself. Is it acceptable mm -hmm. to say Saturday later or that would sound Cockney? Cockney, I mean, language of the Cockney. If you're in, yeah, no, it would probably sound Cockney, to be honest, um, most of the time. Yeah, majority, it would be like a, a London accent, an East London accent. But if you're in a different kind of area and people don't usually use it, and you use it, then people might be like, oh, that was a little bit rude. But it's not that common. Uh, majority would be interpreted as, oh, that person's a bit Cockney. They're from East London. Yes, Fatin. Thank you very much indeed. Once again, once again. Uh, okay. We want, uh, thank you, Amr Sabr. Amr is saying we need, uh, he's having a suggestion. Okay. Can you please pronounce this word? Suggestion. Can you say? Suggestion. 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 Suggest. Suggest. Yeah, suggest or suggestion. Suggest. suggest. <laughs> Thank you. Okay. So, can you please suggest for us something like a YouTube channel or a movie? For me, I would say Harry Potter. Mm. Emma Watson, yeah. Harry Potter. Uh, BBC, of course. BBC. If you want to practice just phonetic sounds, the British Council's phonetic chart you can use. You can click on the sound and hear how it should sound like I, E, A, uh, O. Um, yeah. Okay, uh, one last question. Can I ask you something not related to the British accent? <laughs> yeah, go on then. Okay. I always tell these guys that they have to take IELTS seriously mm -hmm. because the Western world doesn't, is really serious when it comes to work. Mm -hmm. I know you guys, the West in the UK, Canada, America, people, when it comes to work, they are really serious. Yeah, absolutely. Am I yeah. right? You are 100% right. <laughs> Thank you. So when Very I tell serious, them, take right, your right, life forward. seriously. Mm -hmm. Sometimes I tell yeah. them, guys, you've got to take your life seriously or you will not have a place in the West. Yeah, it's the real deal. <laughs> the real deal, absolutely. Thank you very much indeed. It's a pleasure having you with us. Thank you very much indeed, Thank Shannon. You. And uh, by the Thank way, uh, I'd like to invite you Next Thursday, mm -hmm. we're going to have an extra ice cafe. We have the ice cafe every other week. Right. Every other week. Every other week. However, 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 Linda is an American teacher. تخصصها في الدراسات العليا تدريس اللهجة الأمريكية هي أصلاً ده تخصصها وهي أمريكية. هتبقى موجودة معانا يوم الخميس الجاي الساعة تسعة مساء American accent وهناخد بعديها برضو more discussion for conversation وهنحضر معها إزاي نحسن conversation and speaking in general. هشوفكوا بكرة عشان نعمل مع بعض listening, reading, writing and speaking. Tomorrow is four in one thank you shannon for being ah. with us thank you thank you everyone okay have a good um evening thanks good for night. having me do we say good, good night, night or good night good night good night sometimes good night. i hear some british good friends night. say good night good night good night no i say good night but that's me <laughs> take good care night. thank you bye thank you. thank you cheers cheers bye Thank you very much indeed, guys. I'll see you tomorrow. Inshallah, bismi Allah, sa'a 12 al duh. I will sa'a sadisa masa'an. Inshallah, bukra, sa'a 12 al duh. Hankum ma'akum task one academic, min 12 lwahda, min wahda l'itnin listening, min itnin l'talata reading, l'talata l'arba'as, l'speaking. Hagat kira koktil gamil giddan, giddan, giddan. Bismi Allah, inshallah, bukra, hanyamil listening, multiple choice and map. Multiple choice and map. 
من 12 لواحده تاسك 1 اكاديميك من واحده ل 2.5 تاسك ماب ومالتيبل تشويس ربع ساعه بريك هنعمل ريدنج وبعد كده نص ساعه ربع ساعه امتحان سبيكنج ربع ساعه تاسك 2 نتفرج على اس اي باند 8 بدانا نراجع عايز ادخل المراجعه في وسط الليسننج والريدنج ثانك يو فيري ماتش اندي جايز جود نايت باي هابي دريمز باي